Hi, my name is Elna from elnacane.com and for today's video, I'm going to share with you my Medium account and how much I've made on Medium in total. If you're new to Medium, I do have another video on Medium publications because for you, if you're on Medium and you want to gain some money, the best thing to do is to publish on publications that are on Medium, right? So up here, something like the startup is a publication. Here's Entrepreneur's Handbook. These two, I do write for them as well as some other ones. So make sure you check out that video. But for today's video, I just wanted to go over my medium stats, I guess, and my medium income and how long I've been on medium. I've actually been on medium since 2014, but they didn't have any way to monetize their platform or to create income streams for writers at that time. I think it was in, I think what, 2016 or something like that, or 2017 that they started. I'm not quite sure the exact date, but if we go to my stats, we can just check out what's been going on. Now I have been a couple months ago, sort of ramping up my content. I did a write with me on this channel where I showed you writing a medium blog post. So make sure you check out that video too. But so far, as you can see, I had better stats here, my better views previously when I was pumping out more content, as you can see here, and even got up as high as almost 10,000 views back in April when I was really ramping up my strategy and I found that it was working. I was growing my followers. And once you grow your followers on Medium, you can effectively make more money. Medium looks at all the people reading your post and then it will suggest it to brand new people on the homepage of Medium. So as you go on the homepage of Medium, at least on mine, you can see the type of uh, content that Medium thinks I would like. And some of them are in publications and some of them aren't. These are publications it looks like, but I have been getting some just writers writing themselves and I've been reading their content as well. So, but it looks like right now today, it's a lot of it's from publications here. And I think the wealth blog, I guess that's his own profile. I'm not quite sure, but I did click on a startup post. And so you can see Medium is pumping out more startup. I clicked on it this morning. And so now it's flooded with startup posts from that publication, but you can see there's a lot here. And there are many publications on Medium and I did show you in a previous video. Down here, let's go to stats, let's continue on. So yeah, I right now I'm not writing as often and that does affect my views, it does affect my income. But once I have more followers, then I believe there's gonna be a period on Medium where my views are going to even out because my older content, because it was popular back in April, will still be popular You know, six months down the road. People are still gonna see it on their feed, they're gonna click on it and my views are gonna become stable. The more content I provide for Medium and the more followers at that time I provide content for them, come and read my post. So I have hit 4,000 followers. So if we go to my profile, and thank you so much for those that have followed me on my Medium profile, thank you. So I have my content that I want pinned up here at the top. These two posts are just about Medium, just so if people want to know my history about using Medium, how much money I made, any kind of strategies that I've been using, I just like to put up here personally. My Medium profile is sort of my fun writing platform. I do fun things, fun experiments. I talk about blogging. I talk about some strategies that I'm using. I also help freelancers, but again, it's all just fun content that doesn't have to be research driven. It's more thought provoking. It's leader thought content where it's my personal uh, strategies, my personal things that I'm doing online to help my business. And then you can get you know a sneak peek of what I'm doing kind of thing. So like my most recent one, was how I'm scaling my content to make more money. You know, since I do have other sites besides elnacane.com and I do digital marketing, which is also my freelance writing niche, I'm really diving into that aspect and learning how I can grow my content on the blogs that I have. And then just these are personal posts on my profile. They don't get as many views, which I was surprised since I was growing my followers. So it's strategies that I'm using definitely to see what's working and what's not. I have one on the startup. Freelancers Hub is a great uh, platform. It's a small publication, but I seem to get a lot of hits on this one. Like this one at 1.2 or claps, I guess it's called claps, not views. So people seem to enjoy my content on this publication, the Freelancers Hub. It's not a big one, but it has a small dedicated audience that are just me, other freelancers. So I am writing as a freelancer to other freelancers. And I think that's what this publication really helps me get those uh, claps and those initial views. So you can see here, and they have great content here about freelancing in general. I find that this publication and Illumination actually are the two main publications for me that have helped me generate the most views, the most followers and the most income. So this one most recent six days ago has already generated one point six cake 
collapse. And then if we look at the stats for this, it was chosen for distribution, which medium does if it's not salacious content, if it doesn't talk about medium content, and there's certain reasons why your content wouldn't be distributed. But if it doesn't have any of those markers and it doesn't have any misleading clickbait headlines, then it would get chosen for distribution. And what that does is that medium just pumps out the content to other profiles that don't follow you. But in six days, I've earned about 15 bucks. It's not a lot, but I'm happy with that. And what you will find is that the income that I generate from medium is not sustaining. It does not help me make a living as a writer. Like I said, it's my, it's a side fun project that when I'm continually writing for my clients or continually writing helpful advice to help other freelance writers, I want to write about some fun things that are personal. I am starting to do that a little bit on my Elna Kane blog. I am starting to share more personal stories on my con um, content there too. So this new side of me, I think is helping by writing on Medium more often about me, my my strategies, my story. It's helping me open up more to my other, to my business, to elnacane.com. But you can see here all of that. And then if we look at the stats for all my stories, we saw the view counts here, but you can see that even though it had one point, I think 1.6 claps, K, 1.6 K claps, it has about 700 views. So hopefully it'll get to a thousand views, but past content, older content in May is still getting lots of views. Like this one has over a thousand views. So when your content, older content gets more views, it's going to just get pushed out more and maybe it'll become viral. So, and I have two here during that time that hit the 1000 view mark. That's good. And then when I go back to older content, you can see a lot of them have reached lots of views here. Um, and you can see the ones that do well, like Illumination has generated me lots of views here. The startup is a hit and miss. It It's a slow, for me, a slow view because it's one of the biggest or the biggest publication on Medium that I don't get immediate hits at all for weeks and weeks. So that's, that's a hit and miss. That's what I have here in a nutshell. And then if you want to look at my audience stats, you can see what I found since my strategy I started March, April, May around there, I started growing my followers a lot quicker. If you look here, you can just see the jump that I had. You know, typically it was, sometimes I would hit over a hundred here, a little bit here, but it's it was like for a while, it was just hovering below a hundred. And then all of a sudden it went up to 300 and then 250. Like now it, it's something like this. I don't know if this month and that I'm recording this, that I'm going to get that high of a jump because in order for me to get those followers, I have to create three or more posts a week. And that's what I was doing back here. As you can see in April, May, and June, I was doing three posts a week, every week, pretty much. And then because it's the summer, because things are slowing down, I am not publishing as often. I suspect I'm going to make less and have less followers overall. I also have email subscribers. So you can, this is not an email that I send to people. I don't know. I think it's just an alert system that when I publish, they get alerted. I perhaps, I don't think I can write to them. I think I can move these subscribers to my main list, but I don't, I don't need to do that. And then I have members here. If you sign up through my special link to start on Medium, I can earn a little bit of a commission on that. So I am building up my members here on that. So that's kind of nice. And it's typically only one a month. You know, there are Medium writers that are, you know, kicking butt here that are, that's their strategy. That's their brand. That's their business. That's all they do is Medium. I don't do that. I have built a successful freelance writing business. I feel that if you want to do writing, that you will be much more successful as a freelance writer, a side outside of medium. You cannot build a business on medium. I know that it's very hard and you will burn out, I believe, unless you write like highly, highly, highly viral content, but that's also a hit and miss I'm finding too. Much better to build your own sustaining business outside of medium and then use medium as a way to build your portfolio. Use it as a way to show prospective clients that you can write content in their niche while I'm writing more thought-provoking pieces. No, I picked up clients that want my expertise. They see that I've written about it and they want that on their site. So it does help a little bit if you're an authority in a certain industry. So if you're a nurse and you pump out nurse content, or if you are a graphic designer, something like that, where you can lean on experience there and then provide that on Medium. So here it's just more digital marketing, freelancing, and then uh, content here. That has helped me. And I, if I wanted to, there are some stories on here that I would use for my portfolio, but that's because I've shown stats. It's not personal. I like to show my portfolio like uh, general content that would help their business. What I would think would I would put them 
put my portfolio piece on their blog. So something like five hard truths about growing a website. This could be a nice portfolio piece because it's written to the masses kind of thing. So I give stats here and that's a good indication that it could be used for a portfolio piece, a writing sample. And I believe I do have one blog post on my writer website that is from Better Marketing that I use as a portfolio piece. So well, let's look at my media important program. Let's look and see how much I've made so far. Medium doesn't give you an at like a total of everything. So I had to go and spend some time adding up the totals unless there is someone can tell me. I don't think I included, I may have included the referral earnings. So here is where they show all this. So I'm, I believe this would be the total last month with my referral earnings. I'm not quite sure, but I just took all of these numbers and added them all up. You can see I started generating income in 2019. So I don't know if the medium partner program opened before that. And I just wasn't on the platform. Again, I was growing my business. So I didn't really produce much content in these years here. It's only very recently that I decided to play and see what I could accomplish. And so you can see here, these are all the, the months that I've generated some income. And then because of my ramping up content on medium, I was able to make more money. In total, I've earned a little over $2,000 since 2019. So like I said, it's not a way for me to make a living on medium. And same with you, you'll find that if you're on medium and you you might struggle with just getting followers and then getting income, you might not. You might find that your first post goes viral and then you're just rolling on that and getting followers and then income and you can go from there. But it's not sustainable. Nowadays, it does take a lot of content, a lot of content to get noticed. You can do what, there's a writer that I follow. Her name is Nicole Dake, I think. Yeah, Nicole Dake right here. She writes, she's growing her followers a little bit faster, but she writes very short pieces, two minute read, like very, you can see here, and she'll publish two or three a day, these small things here. Um, what was her most recent was something she flopped, or the one I was shown, Medium provided me, was a, she flopped on Fiverr, a two minute read, so you can see how long this is. It's, uh, that's it. You see, it's, only, it's really short, but she's having success writing these very, very, very short pieces, publishing multiple a day, every day. She does this every single day and she's an editor for um, a publication on Medium and she's growing. That is a strategy. And so on my profile, I started doing something like that too, a little bit. Some of my content is now shorter, four minutes, four minutes. Here's a one minute. This one seems to get some good um, engagement here. I got 1000 claps, some engagement here. So something as small as this was really short. And so that was kind of neat. So I was trying that strategy, but for me, I guess I, I haven't really sat down to think of little topics to write about. I, I do want to write about like certain strategies. So it's a different approach, but that's something that you can do as a way to see if you can gain income and followers because your followers are, is tied to your income. People who have 40, 50,000 followers are making a healthy income with medium. It's sustaining at that point, but you have to get to that point. Two to 2.5 to 3,000 followers is when I actually saw some traffic. Action. I saw some movement on my profiles. I saw I saw some more followers, more income and things like that. But that could also coincide with my ramping up the content on Medium <laughs> at that point. So I don't know for sure. Anyways, um, I hope you like this video. It is something that I, like I said, I like to do. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a Medium profile? Uh, share your Medium profile. Tell us what you write about. Maybe others will follow you. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more freelance writing advice.